Hey, 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 what's good, gang? Talk back another video. And today, boys, we got the best quarterback in the game. Can stay well in the Niners season team. He gets all 32 team cams. But yeah, if you are new here, subscribe. Uh, see more of my videos, like and comment to help this video do better. Uh, go check out my previous video. I did a gameplay on all the team of the year cards. Uh, all the ones the Niners got anyway. But yeah, uh, and Leon Sandcastle was, oh shit, hold up. Let me fix this. Leon Sandcastle was our quarterback in that gameplay. But here with today, we got Mr. Ken Stabler. 99 overall, bro. 92 speed, 98 throw power. A lot going on. 6-3. Got the generic, or no, Slinger 3 release. So the same one Leon Sandcastle has. Um, he You get him from completing the set. It's like the All Madden set where you add uh, Dave Casper. Well, Dave Ca it's Dave Casper, Gronk, Gronk, and Deion Sanders. Um, and he gets every team cam like here. Awesome. Uh, I'm using Run and Gun Ken Stabler. I don't think it was activated in the game, so I have no idea how that works. But he gets Fearless, Set Feet, Hot Route Master, and Gunslinger for three AP total. He's freaking good, guys. He's probably going to be the quarterback for the rest of the year unless we get some golden tickets quarterbacks that get this for like three three or less, you know. Um, and then the, I'm running the one AP running gun just because I have extra AP and I don't know what to put it on right now. So I was running him with the running gun. And yeah, that's really, I don't think it was activated in this game. I have no idea what how to get it activated. But yeah, hear this one AP, set feet for one AP, hot route for one AP, gunslinger for zero. Dog. Nothing. He's a, he is a lefty. I'm used to using a lefty. I was using Steve Young, then I used Leon Sandcastle, and now I'm on Ken Stabler. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, let's get into the gameplay. Did I record two or just the one? All right. Uh, and if you want, like I said, if you want to see the gameplay of Ken Stabler, or not, all the other me talking about all the other cards on my team, go ahead and watch my previous video. I did that. Um, we're on Chiefs offense and defense. Uh, yeah, I might switch up my offense and defense. I really want to. I want to get a different offense, to be honest with you. I kind I don't know what I want to switch to. I might. I really want to go back to U trips, is what I'm feeling. But then I don't know what else I want to run out of out of that playbook. So I probably I'm probably gonna go back to U trips in in a couple days probably. So yeah. Uh do y'all really care about defense? Third and left. I'm not. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna skip. This video is gonna be quicker. Uh, and like I said, this isn't the best Kenny Stabler gameplay. Uh, I recorded it. I got two two games. There's two games of him. Uh, I recorded it right after I recorded my other one. I'm sick. I feel like shit. I've been eating, not eating, but having cough drops. I took medicine. I don't know what it is. I just feel like crap, dude. So I really don't want to play that much longer. I'm probably gonna finish recording, make the thumbnails and stuff, uh, and then. Go to bed. <laughs> Not really. All right, let me set up my audibles. And uh, I'm in Deuce Close. The Patriots will not Deuce Trio, Deuce Close, all that great stuff. Um, Yeah. Stabler, though, like I said, he has the best abilities. One of the best. I don't know. So I don't know how people feel about releases at this point in the game. I right, Slinger 3 is, like, the best with Gunslinger. He has Gunslinger. Um, the second best release is probably Slinger 1, but the deep release on that is so slow, and the throw on the run is terrible. So, uh, I think Stabler's just the best guy out there right now. Um, Bank, you know, he's free. Uh, here, we're going to go to Deuce Close. Bob up a wheel route, because CMC, the wheel route's torch, and that makes my opponent quit. So, there's game one. Um, blah, blah, blah. We'll skip all this stuff. We'll skip till I'm on offense. Not really. We'll get. Let's see, come on. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to the, to that. Um, yeah, what's that offense? Boom! Scream at him. But I'm gonna go back to U trips. I just like the spacing on it, and I feel like I attack zone better out of that. And then I'm gonna go to tight slots whenever it's time to play man. So, or when I play man coverage and stuff. So when, when I play against it, not when I, because I don't run man. Uh, I don't know. There he throws a pick right to me under pressure from Nick Bosa. I go down because I want to get Ken Stabler the thing. Um, here we're going to throw a dot to Kittle. 
I'm, I'm loving this Kittle card too, by the way. Uh, all the Team of the Year cards are have been awesome. Um, if you uh, the best one, what would y'all rank the best ones? Who would you guys have as the best one out of the Team of the Year cards? Let me know that. Honestly, like they're all really good. Uh, on actually, I think it's Trent Williams, the left tackle. Zero AP secure protector is so good, and he's the left tackle for the rest of the year. You don't need another one. Um, not so like that. I'm 100 percent serious. Left tackle Trent Williams is so good, bro. Cause he, I don't know, he's just so good. So, yeah, that's probably who I would go with. Um, I guess skill positions or defense. Um, I don't know. The receiver, I know Justin Jefferson's really good. I don't know about any of the other receivers. Uh, who else is really good out there? Let me know. Let me know your favorite. I think Trent Williams is probably the best because the left tackle, you don't need another one. With that secure protector, he's going to be good for the rest of the year. Oh, I need to break that kit tackle, Kittle. Here, we're going to find a running. Oh, no. That's just a bad read by me. I forced that. Um, takes it for six. Uh, I had the running back open on the left, but I just missed the read. All right. Oh, shit. Stop skipping. All right. We're going to go to uh, tight, though, and we're going to go back to this little concept. Ooh, where should I run some bunch? Bunch and tight slots? I don't know. I might run, I might run bunch and tight slots. Think about it. Like, I, it's been a minute since I ran bunch. I might run it out of the Eagles, though, with the read option and stuff. Oh, I might kill. I might start killing people, bro. No, wait. Not. Whoa. Or, I don't know. I might tight slot. I don't know if I want tight slots. I really did like tight slots when I, I ran tight slots this year. Did I go back to tight slots? I could go back to tight slots. Oh, chef. Hair up. Um, here, though. This is just a dumb play by me. I go to the speed option. I love the speed option. It's really good. But some reason, like, look at, I go to pitch the ball and the defender swats it down and he gets it. So he gets the ball right back. And I'm going to be honest with you. He throws a pick right back to me. I was struggling. Um, I'm going to go to wing flex, though. A formation that's actually really good just because I watched it. I run it like I'm in tight, basically. And watch this, watch this kiddo route. I'm going to just lob this up. This Kittle route beats man coverage. So, like, he just gets past it. He just runs past him. Boom. Catches it over him. Great play by Stabler. You know, nobody, no other quarterback makes that throw. There we find CMC underneath. But then I could, I don't know. I could see me staying in the same offense, but then I feel like I want to change offenses just because. I don't know. But then I don't know if I want to run the meta stuff. I might stay out of this, stay in this just to be off meta, to be honest with you. Get blown up in the backfield. Here we're going to go to uh, Deuce Close. See what we could get cooking out of here. I think I'm going to read Kittle. He's not open. BX actually gets knocked out by Fred Warner right there, which is, hey, shout out to Fred. I'm going to run the ball here. It's kind of dumb. If I wish he left had his option not on conservative because I feel like I could, I could take it. Yep. Here we're going to find Kittle, though, on the seam streak. We're just going to snap verticals, throw the streak, boom, go up and get it. That's why I like him there. Gronk's there, good there too, but Kittle, I have a red zone threat on Kittle for 1 AP. So here you can tell he goes to man coverage. So I put a slant, a corner, and then I have this this route. Nobody gets open. I throw it away. Just got to make the smart play in that in that situation. I think I go to the same, same kind of thing. But I'm going to I do an out route. Wow, okay. Um, and no, nobody gets open. I take a sack. <laughs> I just said I gotta be smart, and I take a sack. Here I go. Nothing gets open. I try to force it to A, and I overthrow it. That's my bad. I know I threw a pick in the gameplay. Um, he ends up not scoring before half. K. Okay, so, and then he sits through this whole fucking thing, which is wild. Uh see if we could get another thing. Uh, here we're gonna go to wing flex as well. Single back wing flex this time. It's the same thing as the other wing flex that I called. Go here. I'm gonna snap it. I want to lob it to Kittle, but it was it wasn't completely man coverage. And I throw an A. He just goes up and gets it. That's a sloppy read. 
Uh, oh shit, I thought he paused the game. Here, though, look at Kittle, though. Same thing. Gonna stay in man coverage. I'm just gonna keep doing this unless he pushes the guy over there. Lobs it up. Beautiful pass to Kittle. Here, I'm gonna go for two. I'm gonna try to throw up to my red zone threat. It's just dumb. I wanna. I tried throwing it up, and honestly, it was just a bad pass lead by me. I have red zone threat like there. I said I was just trying to get my two points. I don't know. I'm off point. Blah blah blah. Defo blows that up. There we. Charles Haley. He just drops back way too far right here. He's actually block, blocking a lot of guys. He just drops back way too far. Oh, third and 13. I'm going to man up Kittle on, or uh, Warner onto him. We're going to lurk this. I'm the only one on this guy, so I got to, right, hey, get the break up. He ended up throwing. Nothing's open, bagged. Misses the throw or doesn't even hit his, doesn't even come close to his receiver. But yeah. Here, I think we're going to go to vertical. Oh no, we're going to, yeah, we're going to go to like fake fake screen or something and he's running man coverage and we're just running right by him so i throw it up gronk that's ggs he quits yeah there's kenny stabler he is the best quarterback his ap setup is insane three ap for fearless gunslinger set feet lead and hot run master and then you could also run four ap with his running gun thing i don't know i feel like it's messed up maybe a little bit later on in the day it's fixed but yeah he is the best quarterback sorry it's not the best gameplay I'm sick, uh, and I just wanted to get it out for you. At least it's quick, though, compared to my normal videos. But, yeah, till next time, it's your boy Taboo. Peace.